Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to Perfect Edition Comics. I'm your host, Perfect. And today, we're going to take a look at Criminal Deluxe Edition Volume 3 by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. Let's do this thing. First of all, let's take a look at the size in comparison to some other books. Here's Cruel Summer, which is the final edition of Criminal. So it's the same size, it's oversized hardcover, same height, same width. Then let's just grab a trade paperback. Here's Jupiter's Legacy, coming to Netflix soon, I think. Normal size trade paperback, you can see the size difference there quite clearly. Really beautiful cover, love the treatment and the design. Spine as well, just really pops. Beautiful little red ribbon for Criminal that extends to the back of the book as well. Love the kind of hatching and colors on this, the dark blues with the vibrant kind of oranges and yellows. Really just one of the most stunning cover treatments. Let's take a look inside. So first of all, you got this nice close up of Teague Lawless, one of the main characters on the inside cover. Again, the red and the logo treatment of Criminal looks really nice and clean. Love the book design. Here we got the contents and let me just give you a bit of insight as to what's inside of this. So first of all, there might be nothing new for you because a lot of this has been collected already. So first of all, we have Wrong Time, Wrong Place, which is a trade paperback which covers the first two stories of this deluxe edition. Then we have the original graphic novel, My Heroes Have Always Been Junkies, which was released in hardcover before and you might have picked that up as well, not knowing that it was actually part of Criminal because it wasn't explained that clearly yet when it was released. Then we have Bad Weekend, another original graphic novel, also in hardcover that you might have picked up. And finally we have two issues. The first is issue number one of the new run that's just completed, or 12 issues. That's collected additionally in Cruel Summer. So if you've picked up Cruel Summer before this, you already have that issue. So that leaves us with issue number four as the final part of the contents of this. This is really truly the only new thing that has never been published before in collected edition. So if you're someone that isn't a stickler for oversized deluxe editions, you might have already not realized that you have almost everything in this collection. But if you are an oversized collector, then obviously this is something you're going to want to really pick up anyway. So I did mention before the different trim size that I found in the Cruel Summer oversized hardcover. This one has full bleed on some pages and then this white inset that you see here as well. So um, yeah, you can check out that overview of Cruel Summer as well. It's the book that follows this one. Um, I'll talk about the order in a second. But here you can see the difference between the full bleed on the pages. So it's nice to see that that's just a, a hard artistic choice. So let's quickly jump into the deluxe edition reading order. You might not have picked these up before, but I've got good news for you. There will be reprints coming of the first two deluxe editions in April of this year, 2021. And the covers look awesome together, by the way. Following volumes one and two, you have volume three that I'm reviewing now. That's already out, so you can grab this. And then if you're missing the first two, just wait a few months and pick those up. And then you'll have this stunning kind of triple hitter of uh, beautiful covers to enjoy. And lastly, you have Cruel Summer, which actually came out before Deluxe Edition volume three. But if you're actually looking at read or reading order, should come in last. Again, this is not something that's a complete deal breaker, but if you want to get the best of the story, I would think about reading Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and then lastly, Cruel Summer. People are confused because Cruel Summer doesn't have Criminal on the cover, but it's all part of the same series. So you will see in some of these stories this kind of old school style of art going here. That's because uh, they switch between the characters in the stories actually reading old comic books as they are going, and this juxtaposes against the main story. I really love this style with colors by Elizabeth Brightweiser. Moving on to the original graphic novel, My Heroes Have Always Been Junkies. This is where Jacob Phillips, the son of Sean Phillips, picks up on colors. And you can see a big difference with the vibrancy of the colors. He also uses this kind of rough painted effect, which is more of an art school style. I struggled at first to get into it, but once I'd gone through three to four pages, yeah, it just really stuck with me and it gives a, a nice different kind of bright feeling to the story. Even though, in a way, it's quite a depressing story, it's a very interesting visual juxtaposition on that. So uh, it looks really nice and really vibrant and changes the whole tone of things. The story of Criminal is basically crime noir, based throughout the 70s, 80s, 90s and 2000s. 
a loosely coupled story in a loosely coupled world but it still is good to know that there is a continuation of different characters and different secondary characters suddenly become primary characters depending on the story so even though some people say you can read it standalone i would suggest reading it completely in one long sitting you get the most out of it you see the crossovers of characters you see one story bumping into another and it really is a big payoff if you read it in that way Unfortunately, this is a glued binding, so sometimes the pages really do stand up and uh, it can be difficult at the beginning and the end of the book. Uh, you sometimes really just got to press down to get into the gutters. Luckily with the art and the white border, it doesn't actually kind of suck any of the art into the binding. And you don't really miss out on it either. Let's just quickly take a look what extras we got because I think it is around 70 pages of extras so there's quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, from page 333 to 400. You'll see, see here that we have story notes, cover gallery, trailers, essays, process and biographies. Story notes are great. Brubaker gives you a little bit of insight into all the different issues contained which is great covers different varying covers with all different styles by Philips and different coloring it's very cool there's also a little extra mini story in the back the essays and illustrations are struggled with a bit the essays were pretty dry and uh, tough to read through but the illustrations are just beautiful with different paint stylings just some beautiful variation of different things used in the stories some of the animation cells used in one story some covers some cover treatments just nice to see the process. Yeah, some roughs, some pencils, some inks, some Andy Warhol style, different color treatments, and biographies to finish it off. Let's just open this up and take a look at the binding so you can see what I meant. It is a glued binding, unfortunately. Cool summer was stitched, but this is glued, so it kinda isn't that great. You see the pages are very rigid. Tried to stretch it but didn't make too much of a difference thanks so much for watching please remember to hit that like button hit the subscribe button and remember stay perfect see ya